to jump on into this show, Dunks. He says, oh boy, oh boy, I sure am excited. Dunks, who is your favorite meme character? Is it SpaghettiO Joe, the king of SpaghettiOs? Whatever. Welcome, everyone, to Friday Night Fights WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. Part of me wanted to recommend Big Show or Gallagher. Well, it's Gallagher it is, and that's right here tonight on Friday Night Fights. The Fight Master recognized character champion Dave will be defending his title against the God Tier Gentleman. Jack Gallagher, the Fight Master title, that is, not the, uh, the recognized character title. But you know what? We got lots going on here tonight. I'm trying to get you some pyro. Look, we, we, we got enough money for pyro. Look at that. Survivor Series was such a good show. We were able to afford pyro. That's right, everyone. We've done it. We've made it a brand new world here after the success of Survivor Series. Here in, and we even went to a gym in San Diego, California. Things are looking up for Friday Night Fights. Now, I would like to apologize. I would like to apologize real quick. I know normally I'm very diligent about, uh, you know, putting my shows together, making sure everything is high, it's, it's tight, it's nifty, it's nice and clean. And I, I know I should really focus even more of that here on the road to WrestleMania, but unfortunately, some uh, situation has unfurled itself uh, since Survivor Series that has come to my attention, and I have had to be focusing my attention on it. Now, I did, I was able to book the first two matches here tonight, which will be Brock Lesnar versus Heath Slater, because fuck Heath Slater, he may have gotten away with his freedom. But you know what, if, if me, I have anything to say about it, Brock Lesnar's going to break his arms and legs, confine him to a hospital bed. And then in our second match, as I've already said, Dave is going to face Jack Gallagher with the Fight Master title on the line. I Then I, ha I had to go take care of this other business that has been uh, coming up. And uh, I, uh, I let Dunks book the rest of the show. Uh, so I hope Dunks, I hope Dunks, you've done a great job booking. He looks very stressed. He's stress chewing. Dunks is very concerned about what the fans will think of the first ever Dunks produced show. I have big faith in you, Dunks. Is it all right if I tell you the current roster for MCW Friday Night? Get your opinion on which roster is better so far. Go right ahead. I won't read them out loud, but I will. Uh, I will give you my opinion. Because, just because I don't feel like saying a billion names. With everything going and we're actually going to open the show with Cole Phelps. Who had mentioned before Survivor Series that he had some business he was taking it to do different from my own business. And he says it's it's about time he reveals the plan that he has been working on to quote unquote make things right again. Something hasn't been feeling right lately. I just can't shake it off. I'm not sleeping well. It's been weighing down on me for a while now, so it's time I let it out. I want to be honest with you, WWE Universe. I'm a guy on the rise, and I owe it to all of you people. Oh, and my friends and family who supported me, also my parents. I wouldn't be here without them. I mean, literally, I wouldn't be here. It'd be impossible. Wait, where was I? Kelly's he's sleep-deprived. You guys want to know a little secret? Now, you have to promise not to say anything. You ready? Okay, here goes. Wait! You know what? It's probably better we don't do this right now. All you need to know is that we're going to have a lot of fun tonight out here together. You're the ones who make this all possible, and you deserve a better class of superstar. There are too many chumps around here trying to win titles for themselves. When I'm out here, I'm trying to win for all of you, so I'm calling every big mouth who thinks they can take me on. Not only do I demand it, but so does the WWE Universe. I know that the WWE Universe is the reason why I'm allowed to do what I do best inside this ring every single week. So allow me to give you fans the gratitude you so richly deserve. Thank you. It's because of you I get to perform inside this ring, and it'll be because of you that I will succeed. This place is Wait. After that. I'm, I'm, I'm sending... I'm sending Drew Gulak backstage to go cut Cole Phelps off and ask him, succeed at what? And I'll... I'll what is... 
Cole Phelps says he's going to succeed at bringing back The Undertaker. I look at this card and my mouth starts to walk. I, Sit tight I don't sure. know how that could be possible, but Up next we have singles action. either okay. way, I, that's what he says. He's he's leaving the arena now. This is going to be amazing. So we'll try and send someone to get some some more words for him trying to figure things out. I don't know. We'll keep you updated. Until then, it is time for Brock Lesnar. Not just Brock Lesnar. It is time for Heath Slater versus Lucha Lesnar. That's right. Brock Lesnar. Ever since losing to Jack Gallagher, he had to see the light. He went out. He trained in about 40 different wrestling dungeons. And he learned... That luchador was the way to go, and he became Lucha Lesnar. Only way to get his soul back is to give another soul away. You know what, Frosty Vamps? I think you might be absolutely correct. But until we know more, we're just going to carry on with the show as we have Lucha Lesnar versus Heath Slater taking him right out of the gate. And a DT to Slater. Whoa, 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 What's going on here? What's going on? Okay. It appears we've had a a bit of a a bit of a small a little outage. A little camera outage here in the arena. Okay, we we may have spent a bit more money on the pyro than we should have. And I apologize. Um so we're gonna we're going we're gonna to get everyone back into their corners, and everything's going to be okay. I'm, I'm sorry. We've made a mistake. Cam camera guy, you got you got to do the camera. The camera's, camera's back up and rolling. Okay. I apologize. Listen, I'm sorry. All right? We... I just wanted the pyro to look nice. We won't do it again. God, man. If only we would have fucking won a Survivor Series. All right. Nonetheless, Heath Slater... Knows he's in real trouble now. It's more beautiful than I could have imagined. I'm glad to hear that. Heath Slater has already taken some damage to his arm and a DDT. And then we're restarting the match. So Heath Slater, he's, he's cowering in the corner. Terrified of this situation that's unfolding before him. He's never seen anything like Lucha Lesnar in his life. He Slater might wish he uh did end up in jail or whatever. This will surely be oh my god! He Slater was ready for him this time. That restart may have been just what he needed. Maybe I think oh Snapmare Driver! I, I I'm receiving word that it wasn't a funding problem. Drew McIntyre claymored the camera clean out of the sky. I can't believe it. Big top rope leg drop from Heath Slater. And now Slater trying to pull Brock Lesnar's mask off to disgrace him and his luchador family. It's, a, it's quite the roster for a MCW fire you have there. And Lesnar's pissed that Slayer would go to all these dirty tricks. So much is caught. We're, we're going to be finding Heath Slater for that camera equipment. Slater just trying to scout the competition. Before trying to get the match restarted by kicking the camera out. I can't believe he would do something so sneaky. And this is a man who faked his own death and I'm still surprised by it. Oh! Slater! Oh my god! He just choked Lesnar out. Big stomp by Slater there. Slater would have never had this advantage if Drew wouldn't have claymored the camera. I can't believe I fell for such a dirty trick once again. Slater now putting Brock Lesnar in the corner. All oh, Lucha Lesnar in trouble. Slater has him up. Big right hook. Air guitar to Lucha Lesnar. Into the pin. Oh no. One. Two. And Lucha Lesnar able to kick out. Oh, Heath Slater clearly might have dislocated his arm when Lucha Lesnar got him earlier. But Slater looking to end this. The dirty tricks. Oh, the daddy of nine to Lucha Lesnar into the pin. That is not a rope break, apparently. Two. 
Oh, and Lucha Lesnar hangs on. Heath Slater can't believe it. He's been trying every trick in the book to stay on top of the game here. But Lucha Lesnar holding on, kicking Heath Slater aside. Big stomp there. As Slater hits the snapmare, still trying to take that mask off. He says, you're not a real luchador, raking the eyes of Lucha Lesnar. Sending him in the corner now, Heath Slater. Has him up on the top rope. Could Heath Slater defeat? Oh no! Lucha Lesnar off the top rope! Hurricane Rana to Heath Slater. Now working him up to one knee. Big stiff kick there. Uppercut to Heath Slater. And oh! He's working the injured arms of Heath Slater. Showing him what real Lucha doors are made of. Stump puller. Trying to hyperextend. Heath Slater's legs sit out. Blockbuster. Lucha Lesnar has him up now. Irish whipping him over the top rope. Oh, but Slater catches him with a punch. Spring. Oh, my God. Springboard. Spinning crossbody. One. And Lucha Lesnar kicking out at one. The crowd going wild, except for this very angry small black child in the front row, who I guess loves Heath Slater. What an asshole. You can't like As Slater off the ropes, double axe handle. Getting Lucha Lesnar to his feet. Oh! Big jumping flatliner to Lucha Lesnar. Trying to put the hulking Lucha door away, but he won't go down that easily. Oh! Around the world armbar working the dislocated arm of Heath Slater. Trying to tear. This is where the strength and luchador athleticism comes into play trying to make Heath Slater time out but Heath Slater oh my god able to push him away I think Jinder Mahal was just shooting at him in the rafters with a sniper rifle but thankfully he was able to lucha roll away from the bullets daddy a nine center of the ring Heath Slater into the pin one two oh and lucha Lesnar still kicking out Drew claymoring a camera Jinder Mahal sniping from the rafters and two of Heath Slater's finishers, and Lucha Lesnar is still in this match. Slater taunting him in the corner, getting him up now. Oh, but Lesnar fighting back. Massive. Oh, going for a suplex of some kind. But Heath Slater fighting out of it with a DDT. What is this? Oh, Lucha Lesnar from behind. German suplex. Oh, my God, turned Heath Slater inside out as he gets him up. Around the world arm bar a second time. Can Heath Slater make it to the ropes? No, he can't. Lucha Lesnar tearing apart the arm of Heath Slater. The sniper rifles, the claymores, the daddy of nines. Nothing could keep Lucha Lesnar down. As he stands tall here tonight. And Lucha Lesnar looking real big here. Touching that mask, it still feels a bit different to him. But he doesn't care. He stay yeah, don't be like Heath Slater. Did you see that sign in the crowd? As Lucha Lesnar stands tall here tonight. Alright then. They're both very wild rosters. Which one do you think is better so far? Oh, fuck. I guess, like, kind of like Ice More, but they're both very, very wild. Uh, speaking of very, very wild, we've got a party animal coming out to the ring. As dude love. You know, he's uh he's sitting here, he's like, Hey, I, I booked my ticket to WrestleMania, dude. I'm I'm going all the way. And he's gonna come out here and he's gonna talk about how he's going to WrestleMania. You can't see it, but I'm doing like the little hand thing he's doing, but like I don't have him up camera on me. 
But he's, he's excited to go to WrestleMania. I think the real question we have to ask about Dude Love is what will he be doing at WrestleMania? Will he be bringing the other Mick Foley's with him? Who knows? Dunks? Thick, thick chunk? Do you know? Any idea? I do not. Ah, oh, oh, look at him. He loves the crowd. He's so excited. He's coming on out here. That, that crazy dude love. He knows what it's like to be a man in a machine that is the WWE Universe. That's right, that's what he says. He says that all the time. I don't know what the fuck it means. You know who I am and what I can do. I've proven it time and time again ever not in this ring. And there's one very simple reason that I do what I do. It's for all of you. The WWE Universe, you're the greatest fan in the world. I've been taking time to my crap from the locker room. No matter what I do, I y'all can't seem to take these running sex for my life. It's about time I do exactly what you do with a bug problem. You squash it! Maybe you should take a bath, dude, love. Maybe you want as many bugs then. I uh, most people be upset about being on I don't mind. Flying under the radar red for authority figures, teachers, co cocaine is nothing new to me. I know my own worth and I prove it every time I step into this ring. This dude love on cocaine. Fucking, I don't know. Dude loves on like eight different drugs right now. I've been pissed. I've been quiet until now. I've been a model superstar. W Universe fully supports me. Now it's time for the company to say it's time for management. Give me my chance or we're gonna see what happens at WrestleMania. Whoa, it's WrestleMania. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's just a blast. Come out here, hang with you. Bang, bang. WWE Universe. If I get you in social, I'm stupid people along the way, even better. Hopefully, I made some people mad backstage, and we're going to see some fireworks. I like fireworks. You see the fireworks, sir? Believe me, I'm ready for whatever. Come bring it on. All right. Thanks, dude, love. We'll be sure to check you out at WrestleMania. I'm real glad you won that WrestleMania Survivor Battle Royal, or whatever the hell it was. He's very close to speaking gibberish. You know what? He's, uh, he's very close, but he's far enough away. That uh, <laughs> he gets to come out here and say things, but hey, you know what? You know what isn't gibberish? Uh, the incredible match coming up that is Jack Gallagher versus Dave with the fight master championship on the line. Uh, if you did not watch Jim Bob Crockett promotions, first off, what the hell are you doing? Secondly, he just murdered Rock Lee, he hit his finisher out of nowhere, I think less than a minute into the match. Even it was even more of a squash than when he squashed Neville at Survivor Series. Dave is on an absolute rampage, and I don't know if anyone can stop the reign of Dave. The Dave Page. I, that's terrible. I'm just gonna call it the reign of Dave. The path of Dave Struction. Who just fought? Oh, it was, it was Lucha Lesnar. That's right. I was like. I don't know who to give this win to because I don't remember who was in the match. But either way, it is time now. Fightmaster Championship. I think he is speaking gibberish. Fightmaster Championship on the line. Jack Gallagher versus Rock Dave. Who is the audience behind? I know these are two fan favorites. Dude, now look, the crowd on their feet ready for this match. Oh, Dave was looking for a Super Dave punch. But Jack Gallagher smacked him away. Gallagher and Dave, they've been working on the same show for quite a while. Gallagher, he learns about Dave. He's been scouting. Oh, Dave's finisher! <laughs> One, two, three. The path of Dave Struction continues. <laughs> Nothing to do with this. I promise I have changed nothing about Dave. I have not touched the character at all. He's just, he's, it's a mind of his own. The AI is becoming too strong. <laughs> okay, Dave, how much steroids have you taken? Rip Jack Gallagher. Please never insult my boy Dave like that again. What a reigning defending champion Dave is. <laughs> the Master Champion's here. 
Oh my god! Let's not overcomplicate things. Jesus Christ! It's all about wins and losses. My boy Dave. Now four and one is Fight Master Champion. Jack Gallagher now three and two. He's been eating those losses ever since the Godfather beat him at King of the Ring. Things have been going not so well for the gentleman Jack Gallagher. I'm ready for a whole show with only Dave matches. It's gonna be the Cassius Ono meme again, but with seven matches, and it's all Dave. It's gonna be like the shortest show because it's all Dave squash matches. All right, so now fair warning. All right, we're we're gonna say a fair warning. I know, I know, Dunks, you're shy. Everything from this point on is the first show that Dunks has ever booked, and he's very stressed about it. He spent long nights working on it while I was out taking care of the the space stuff. All right, let's see what Dunks has in store for us here on Friday Night Fights. Okay, well, speaking of the Godfather, Dunks, this is only match number three. Well, let's get you your tail of the tape. Alistair Black, a uh, former member of the Team Coke Zero, he's sitting at 0-1. Oh, he should win this match. Or he's almost definitely going to uh, Highway to Hell. And the Godfather's 1-1. Both of these men desperately need to win this match. This this match, I see why you put this match together, Dave. Because whoever's losing this, there's a good chance they're going to the WWE Worst Cup. So we're going to see these two men fight like their lives are on the line. Because they very well could be. What, what a Booker Dunks is proven to be already. And Godfather's got him up for the big old shlammy. Oh my god, big spinning elbow drop. Look, who's insulting Dave now, Frosty? You, you gave me shit for recommending Dave defend the fight mess against Venom. I'd never stoop as low as the throwing drug use allegations. Shit, maybe Dave should fight Venom. Maybe I should put him against both of them so we can cripple him. Hell, maybe I should put Dave against Heath Slater. Maybe he'll end Heath Slater's career. So if you were him... Is the Godfather now dragging Alistair Black away, slamming his knee into the ground. He's like, oof, ow, my knee. He needs that knee. Needs it. Oh, big STO from Alistair Black to the big boy. No, it's the Godfather. Alistair Black spinning him around, giving him a, a big old twisty. A little twisty doodad. Alistair Black now. Sent into the rope. No, I'm sorry. Alistair Black sending Godfather into the ropes. I'm sorry. I was mistaken yet again. I always make these horrible mistakes. As Godfather bounces Alistair Black off the ropes. Getting him slowly up to his feet. Uppercut by Alistair Black. From behind. Wait a minute. Hammerlock Lariat to the Godfather. Alistair Black doing big damage here. Alistair Black, I, I, look, they both need to win this match. I would say Alistair Black needs to win this match even more than the Godfather. See, if Godfather wins this, he's almost definitely safe. Another Hammerlock Lariat. He's almost definitely safe from the WWE Worst Cup. If Alistair Black loses... He's almost guaranteed going. Oh, as he goes for the elbow drop. Because he would be 0-2, and, and that's just horrible for Alistair Black. You know, very, you know, Alistair Black, he, he has a saying. And his saying is that no man is ever truly good and that no man is ever truly evil. Uh, but I disagree. Heath Slater is absolutely one of the most evil motherfuckers in the world. Could the Godfather be going... For the 619! Oh no, just a nut buster to the back. Mouser Black said, okay, now to be fair, Jack was a tougher fight than Venom, but Dave is obviously doing the voodoo thing right now. Dave would never. Oh, but something else Dave would never do, and that's take a ride on the whole train. Oh, rammed right into Alistair Black. Big opportunity here. Who's in serious trouble now? Godfather looking for a big move. Has him up. For the Ho Valley driver into the pin. One, two, 
Oh, and Alistair Blank hanging on. He knows he needs to stay in that tournament. He knows he needs to win this match as Godfather gets Alistair Black up. Oh, now into a reverse DDT. Black stomping on Godfather's face. What the hell is this? Oh, big knee to the Godfather's head. Who would know since Venom wasn't the one who fought him? Oh. I don't know if this is setting up a Dave versus Venom fight or a Jack Gallagher versus Di a Venom fight. I almost said Denim fight. Or a Jack Gallagher versus Venom fight. As Alistair Black now going to the top rope. Oh my, he's stopping his nuts! He go to bra to the nuts of the Godfather. Trying to make sure. He never does a nut buster in a hoe ever again. As Alistair Black has the Godfather up on his feet. Big old neck breaker. And both of these men exhausted on the ground. Alistair Black crawling up to his feet. Godfather somehow almost up first. Both men back up. Oh, look for the Black Mask. But Godfather caught it. And he's got Alistair Black up. Oh, massive. It's not really a falcon arrow. I mean, like, just a reverse suplex. No, an inverted suplex is a real thing. I don't know what you would call that. Just a, a suplex face buster. Big kick by Alistair Black. Hammerlock Larry at third time this match. Black continues to stomp on the Godfather. And now, looking to put him away to save himself from highway to hell. Black mass to the Godfather. One. Two, three, and Alistair Black walks away with the win. He knew he had to survive, and so he survived that Ho Valley driver. Godfather now one and two. Alistair Black one and one. Black saving himself for now, and Godfather qualifying for the tournament. He needs to be careful. He needs to try and find someone to pick up a win against. I might be inclined to help him, but, you know, you wanted to say all those things in Survivor Series? Get the fuck out of here. You know what? Great job on your first match, Book and Dunks. I love the outcome. Good boy. Here is your winner, and there Alistair. is Alistair Black in the center of this ring. Spotlights on him. He is not going to die this year. He is going to live forever. As we are going to move on to our next match. Don't underestimate Venom. Him and Carnage went to war. I would never underestimate Venom. They were, by the way, this match is happening. They were, I think they are the longest reigning tag team champions. Venom and Slenderman here. I mean, go give you the actual facts real quick. Venom and Slenderman held the tag titles for 18 weeks before losing it to Oh No Way. So, what is that? That is two weeks short of holding it for five months. And as a team, their record was... Seven and one with their one loss being when the Oh No, oh no Way called Slenderman out, jumped him, crippled him, and then took Venom on one on two in that tag title match. It took Oh No Way screwing them out of those titles to end their 18-week reign. Venom is an absolute monster. But speaking of monsters, Sasha Banks is going one-on-one -on -one against the Broken Hearts champion, Aoi Asahina. And Sasha Banks running in around the world, Hurricane Rana. Asahina, she had to face Asuka and, in a way, Ruby Riot at Survivor Series. Came a bit short, but fought incredibly hard. Big side Russian leg sweep. Sasha Banks, I'd like to give you uh, her record, if I can find it. Sasha Banks is 1-1. One one. She doesn't have to worry about the uh, WWE Worst Cup. Uh, because, to be honest, if I do Universe again, the whole women's division, it's honestly probably getting scrapped. Uh, no offense to the women's in real life, but in video games, uh, I just, I'm not interested in having a roster of, like, 20 girls, half of which I don't care about. Because at least with the men, I have a roster of 100 of them, so if I don't care about half of them, i fucking still got 50 dudes I like. So much of that. As Sasha Banks now punching Asahina. That you know, but that doesn't mean much to them. They still want to walk out of WrestleMania as the last ever 
Broken Hearts champion, Sasha Banks, pummeling the champion's face. Going for the pin here. One, two, oh. Almost able to put the champion away. And I think, you know, classic rules here on Friday Night Fights. If Sasha Banks were to pick up a win over Asahina here, that has to put her in title contention for the Broken Hearts Championship. And she's calling for Asahina to get up to her feet. Second rope missile drop kick to the face of the champ. And Sasha Banks now playing it up to the crowd. Circling the champ, kicking her hard in the shoulder blade. Jesus. As Banks now has her up, kick to the gut. Oh, big package neck breaker. This could be it for her. Man, this rivalry and just keeps wait, Asahina could be in trouble here. Sasha Banks comfort very early in the match. Backstabber into the bank statement. That's got to be a rope break. That is, in fact, a rope break. Asahina got her feet on the ropes. The veteran champion here, Asahina. Not really a veteran, but she's been in this ring long enough to be champion. Oh, and dodging the knees. This is how Asahina became champion. Looking for that imploder suplex. And Sasha Banks hitting a side suplex of her own. Asahina became champion by scouting out her opponents, figuring out their strategies and learning how to counter them, as she's doing here tonight. But can she do it long enough to stop Sasha Banks from walking away with the victory here on Friday Night Fights? As she goes for the pin. One... Two. Oh, Asahina almost went down with that kick. Asahina might still be exhausted after her incredibly grueling match against Asuka at Survivor Series. Sasha Banks wrenching Asahina's neck. Locking in the head scissors. Oh, and just hitting her hard in the forehead. She might want to be careful of concussion. We saw what happened to Ruby Riot. Hammerlock neck breaker to Asahina. Into the pin. One, two, three, and that's it. Sasha Banks working over the head that had to have been injured in that Asuka match and picks up a win over the champion. And now, you, you, you know, Sasha Banks, she basically has to be in title contention at this point. At least be in the running for it. As not only did she beat the champion, she beat her very decisively. Sasha Banks beats the Broken Hearts champion. Looking real good for Sasha Banks as we start the road to WrestleMania. Now I would like to remind all of you about the upcoming pay-per-view Rumble Chamber. Where we will be having two Elimination Chamber matches at least. And two Royal Rumbles. Of course, the regular Royal Rumble to decide who will main event WrestleMania. But we will also be having the WrestleMania Invitational Rumble. Where the winner will uh, get a match of their choice within reason at WrestleMania. You can't steal someone else's match. You know, they've, they've got to be available for the match, etc. But, um, you know what? It, you know, anyone can walk in. The Royal Rumble's exciting. We want anyone to walk in to these events. And so that's why if there's anyone you'd like us to send an invite to, we can't guarantee you they'll show up, but we will send them an invite. And we will let you know. I mean, you'll see it, the Royal Rumble if they came or not. But also, along with all of that, is the Elimination Chamber matches. One for each of the main titles on the shows and of course Shaq he is got the champion for Friday Night Fights the WWE World Heavyweight Champion and so I would like to uh, say hey there's someone else that I think belongs in that Elimination Chamber match and that man is none other than Mr. No Days Off, Darren Young. That's right. Darren Young is going to be in the Elimination Chamber match. Him and Dave, apparently the only not fucking worthless people on my show at Survivor Series. 
Uh, so, you know, Dave already has his rewards. He's holding two belts right now. He's on a crazy path of Dave Struction. And Darren Young took care of Jim Boss for me. Got rid of him forever. Maybe there were some consequences to that, but I will put Darren Young in that chamber match nonetheless. Hey, Trey, how many people are going to be in the Invitational Rumble? Uh, 30. It'll be 30 people, but it'll be a special Rumble where the entrants are as fast as they can possibly come out. So it'll go faster than the normal Rumble, but it'll have the same number of people. And I have I have no idea who's going to be in either Rumble. Black Ref doesn't know who's going to be in either Rumble. It's going to be anyone available. That's why we're sending out the invitations. Anyone can shop. It can be all these surprises. The reason I bring this up now, other than basic advertising, is that our next match here tonight is going to be a, an Elimination Chamber qualifying match to determine the third person in the Elimination Chamber match. I don't know what the match is. Dunks booked it. I told him to make it a Chamber qualifier, so we're going to see. But I'm, I'm actually going to take a very quick bathroom break, and I will be right back.
Okay, sorry that took so long. I had to mess around with some settings as well. OBS is being weird. Having some weird interruptions lately. One of the reasons I've been not fully able to pay attention and had to focus on uh, the stuff and let dunks take care of shit. You know what I'm saying? How do I get rid of the Paco image? Where the fuck is the Paco image at? There it is. Okay. Let's find out what this Elimination Chamber qualifying match is going to be. Dunks, what do you have in store? Who are you sending to the Elimination Chamber? This fatal oh, wait a minute! Oh, well, 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 well. Apparently, Dunks really liked Lucha Lesnar's performance. And he's going to give him Ty Dellinger, Sting, and Prince Albert all a chance at going to the Elimination Chamber. Dunks, you radical booker, you. You rascally rapscallion. Double book Big Lucha Brock. That's right. He did such a good job surviving Slater's onslaught. I guess Dunks made a, a last second booking decision while I was in the bathroom. To put him in. Don't take that as me saying that the bathroom break took a while because I was putting him in. I, I, you obviously can't edit shows after they've started. Just so no one had that suspicion. That was a genuine bathroom break and messing around with OBS settings break. It's Ty Dillinger and Lucha Lesnar in the ring and Sting and Albert on the outside. One of these men going to the Elimination Chamber, joining the likes of Darren Young and the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Shaquille O'Neal. In a fatal four way, there are lots of As Ty Dillinger working over the clearly exhausted Lucha Lesnar, in a fatal four -way match, who was shot at by a sniper rifle held by Jinder Mahal. Well. The, their match was interrupted thanks to Drew McIntyre claymoring a camera out of the sky. He took two daddy of nines by Heath Slater. And now he's in this fatal four way match. What a hard worker. Lucha Lesnar is his Ty Dillinger. Going right back to work on him. Neck breaker by Sting on the outside. Of course, fatal four-way. No disqualifications or count out. First pinfall or submission wins. Has to happen inside the ring as Albert is sent to the stairs hard there by Sting. Honestly, I think Sting might have the best chance of winning this if he can keep going after Albert. Or Lucha Lesnar could sneak away with the victory on Ty Dillinger here in the ring. Ref, what are you doing? One. Oh, and Ty Dillinger kicking out at one. Lesnar now, big elbows to Ty, what the fuck was Sting doing out there on the outside? As Albert, oh, throws Sting hard into those stairs. Lucha Lesnar looking to get Ty Dillinger up to his feet. Springboard Hurricane Rana to the perfect 10. And Albert giving it to Sting. Lucha Lesnar telling the crowd he's a number one. And he's going to show why Lucha Doors are going to be the fucking best in the world. Got a couple more suggestions for the Invitational Rumble. Let's go. Pete Dunne is absolutely worthy of being invited to these Rumbles. Just a reminder, it's called the Invitational Rumble because it's an invitation to WrestleMania if you win. The people I'm inviting to Rumble Chamber can appear in either Royal Rumble. The entrance of both are random, but everyone who comes, contract an employee or not, you could see Pete Dunne show up in the actual Royal Rumble, win and have Pete Dunne main event WrestleMania, as we see a tombstone pile driver from Sting. We could see Pete Dunne versus Sting, if Sting wins that chamber match. But Lucha Lesnar doesn't want that to happen, as he sends Sting to the, no, not to the outside, big old knee to Sting's face. You know, I bet Lucha Lesnar respects Sting a whole lot, as Sting, much like Lucha Lesnar, does his best to hide his identity. He wears face paint, and he is merely the man known as Sting. The man they call Sting. But who is he really? Who is Lucha Lesnar? As Albert now headbutting Sting, hard in the face, big kick to the gut. Sting could be in trouble here. Butterfly pile driver? 
Lucha Lester's like, no, stop it, put him down. You're making all the blood go to his head. That'll wash his face paint off. As the Lucha Lesnar sends Albert in the corner. Ty Dillinger back in the ring. Neck breaker to Sting. Big pop-up spine buster. Or sit out spine buster either one. Oh, Albert just punching Dillinger in the back of the head. I think Ty Dillinger was looking for the tiebreaker on Sting. Big reverse DDT to Albert. But Sting now catching Dillinger with the neck breaker. Lucha Lesnar calling to the ropes. Dillinger could be in big trouble here as Sting grabbing him from behind. Oh, and Lucha Lesnar saving Ty Dillinger, but also knocking him out at the same time. So Sting's going to make him pay for that big spinning suplex. Sting's getting hyped up, pushing Lucha Lesnar down. Dillinger up to his feet in the corner, running in at Prince Albert Luthez Press. Oh, Albert's been busted open by the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Lucha Lesnar in the corner. Oh, goes for the stinger splash, but Dillinger was in the way. And he bounced his ribs off the ropes. That hurt Sting quite a bit. And he can't quite make it to Lucha Lesnar. And that bought Lucha Lesnar quite a bit of time. Oh, jumping DDT. And Albert now throwing Dillinger in the ring while Lucha Lesnar sent out. Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny want in, but they mainly want to fight each other. Apparently, Mickey's a bit annoyed that you said you like Isis Rust or more. We got the bleeder. While well, Mickey and whoever the fuck the other one was, Bugs Bunny, they're all they're all welcome to come on out here as well. Stun gun to Ty Dellinger. Lucha Lesnar adjusting his mask on the outside, running DDT. This could be Sting's opportunity to pin Prince Albert and make it to Rumble Chamber. But Lucha Lesnar's right behind him. Big, oh, going for the Saito suplex. But Sting was able to fall through and crush Lucha Lesnar into the pin. Lucha Lesnar's exhausted from the Slater match. This could be it. No, he kicks out. Ty Dillinger now in the ring. 10, 10, 10. He's calling for it. Prince Albert could be in trouble. Oh, he was going for the tiebreaker. But he couldn't get past Lucha Lesnar's big body, so he's, he's going to hit it on someone else, apparently. Oh, I didn't... Ty Dillinger's got him, send him into the corner. Oh, but Lucha Lesnar having none of it. Oh, Ty Dillinger fighting back. Kick to the gut. Big. Oh, neck breaker. To Lucha Lesnar, and it's all down to Sting and Ty Dillinger. Dillinger sending Sting into the corner. Oh, big knee. Oh, big stomp to Tyler Dillinger. I mean, big stomp to Sting, who could be in trouble here. Oh, what a leg drop off the ropes. Albert sitting there waiting for Dillinger. Dillinger wisely able to dodge him. Not so wisely getting on the second rope. Neck breaker. Uh-oh. Dillinger in trouble here. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it, Albert. No. No. Oh, sit up powerbomb inches away from Sting's head. I thought he was going to kill Sting there. Lucha Lesnar's like, what's going on in here, everybody? Irish Whip sends Albert out of the ring. Oh, but he was ready for Lucha Lesnar trying to grab him, but the blood was in his eyes. I didn't even see Sting going for the pin on Dillinger, but Dillinger kicked out the crowd going wild. I don't think they noticed it either. Sting. Albert leaving the ring foolishly as Sting grabs Dillinger. Scorpion death drop. Into the pin. Albert better get in there. One. Albert doesn't see it. Two. Three stings go into the elimination chamber as Albert attacked Lucha Lesnar. I uh, know, Dunk say, no, 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 that's not who I wanted. Well, you, you shouldn't have put him in the match, Dunks. That's how it goes. Oh, he's real heckin' angry. He's like, grr, I'm mad now. Oh, Ty Dillinger now 0 and 2. Not looking good for the perfect 10. Could be heading to Highway to Hell. Dunk says, oh no, I didn't think that would happen to Ty Dillinger. I'm so mad now. Blum, blum, blum. Blum, blum, blum. But nonetheless, Sting the winner, heading the elimination chamber with Darren Young and Shaquille O'Neal. But that wasn't even the last match of the night. We still got a main event, Dunks. Dunks, what do you think is grand enough for the main event? He's giving me shifty side eye. Like, just wait till you see, old man. I'm gonna blow your mind. And... 
Dunks has effectively blown my mind. Dave is gonna defend his title again here tonight. It's Dave versus Goldust with the Fight Master title on the line. Dave, you rascally weasel. You sneaky Pete. He's like, I believe in Dave. He can do it. Well, normally I'd say Dave would be exhausted from his previous title defense, but it lasted a whole of five seconds before he tore Jack Gallagher's head off. Well, let's look at the win-loss record of Goldust here. See where that man stands. Uh, one and one. Goldust will lose someone restrained Dave. He's killing too many people. <laughs> Dunks, you mad man. You're even more chaotic of a booker than Jim Boss was. <laughs> well, here we go. Dave versus Goldust. Fight Master title on the line. And this match is underway. Oh, Goldust with a backbreaker. He's not gonna... Oh my god, it's Jinder Mahal! No! Jinder Mahal wants the Fight Master title. He's getting in the ring. Dave, get out of there. It's, it's the sharpshooter, Jinder Mahal. Well, right, it's a disqualification. Goldust wins, but the title doesn't change hands on a DQ. All right. <laughs> Dude, Dunks is mad. Dunks is furious. He's, he's actually very angry that Jinder Mahal just ran out and ruined this main event title match. Jinder Mahal screwing Goldust out of his title match, screwing Dave out of his chance to prove himself best ending ever. If he takes out Goldust, I'm calling the one man army all the jokes. <laughs> best ending ever. Gender the hero. <laughs> WWE rocks. This is awesome. Oh my god. Well, that's that's been Friday Night Fights. I want to thank you all so much for coming out here to this show here tonight. I hope that you have all had a, uh, a wonderful evening. And I will see all of you guys if I can get my mouse working correct. Okay, my... It did not like me hitting that button. I don't know if it actually did anything. Nonetheless, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And I will see you all next time.